The Flyers' two new additions are here in Tampa, and I'm reporting here live from Thunder Alley just outside Amelie Arena. I'm Charlie O'Connor with PHLY Sports, here with my Flyers post-practice updates. Just got done the morning skate. Not me, the Flyers, of course, but the Flyers just finished up their morning skate here in preparation for Saturday night's game against the Tampa Bay Lightning. It's an important game. Both teams are battling for those final few playoff spots in the Eastern Conference. But the big story really is the fact that the Flyers had two players show up today. Both Eric Johnson and Dennis Gurianov were able to make it here in time for the morning skate. It does appear that Eric Johnson will be in the lineup. John Tortorella confirmed as much. He was paired with Mark Stahl today. Uh, we got a chance to speak with Eric Johnson, and unsurprisingly, he's your classic crusty old pro. But what really stood out to me talking with Eric Johnson was the fact that he fully understands what he is. He straight up said his best years are behind him. He wants to be a complimentary piece. He wants to help this team out in any way he can. This is not a guy who seems to have a particularly large ego. He knows what he is. He knows he's being brought in just to fill out the defense, maybe help some of the young guys like Ronnie Adder, who's still here, Igor Zamola, who's still playing, and then obviously even a guy like Cam York, who isn't really a rookie anymore, but he's still a young guy who could be the uh, type of person that could benefit from a player like Eric Johnson, who, just like Mark Stahl, longtime veteran. Unlike Mark Stahl, Eric Johnson actually has won a Stanley Cup. Stahl's still pushing for that, trying to win one before he rides off into the sunset. Eric Johnson won one uh, with the Avalanche a few years ago. So Eric Johnson's numbers over the last year haven't been that great. He straight up said to us today that this season hasn't been up to his standard, that it's been difficult trying to uh, you know, accustom himself to a new system. He played in Colorado for quite a long time. So... There's a decent chance that this could just be the aging curve finally catching up with him, but the Flyers are hopeful they could squeeze just a little bit more out of Eric Johnson. Now, the other addition, Dennis Gurianov, I wouldn't necessarily expect him to play tonight. He uh, he did rotate in and out on the fourth line. More on that in a little bit. He rotated in with uh, with Cam Atkinson on a new look fourth line. However, Cam Atkinson was on the power play when they practiced the power play, so that tends to, uh, to hint. Uh, if you're on the power play, you're probably in the game. So my guess is that Cam Atkinson will get the start tonight and Gurionov probably will be a scratch. However, it seems like the plan is to get Gurionov in games. Now, he's a pending unrestricted free agent at the end of the year. The Flyers don't have a lot of time to figure out what they have in him. So they're going to have to give him some looks. Now, doesn't seem like it's going to happen tonight, but keep an eye out. He's an interesting guy. He obviously uh, had some good years with Dallas, former first-round pick. Uh, he's got size, he's got speed, he can shoot. The raw tools are there. Now, he's 26 going on 27, so keep your expectations reasonable. They're most likely, they probably won't unearth a future impact player, given his age, given the fact that he's, uh, he's flamed down a couple organizations so far, but it's worth a shot. So we'll see how that plays out. Just don't necessarily expect to get your first look at Gurianov today, even if he is already with the team. Now, moving on to the Flyers' lineup tonight. It was interesting last game to see Sean Couturier bumped up midway through the game. He was playing mostly with uh, with scorers, not with Nick Delorier anymore. And it appears that is going to hold tonight. He was on a line in morning skate with Travis Konechny and Tyson Forrester. It's about as close to a top line as you're going to get. The team's maybe hottest player, although Forrester didn't score in, uh, in Thursday's game, but he's been on fire recently. And then the team's best offensive player in Travis Konechny. So they're giving Sean Gouturier a look back up the lineup. We'll see how he does. I thought he had a really strong game on Thursday even if he didn't score a point. Now he's getting a look back in his old spot. We'll see if he can take advantage of it. Another guy, however, who has dropped down the lineup, maybe in part to accommodate the rise of Gouturier, Morgan Frost. He was the fourth line center today. Now, it certainly looks like he's going to play. It's not like, like Torrell is going to scratch him necessarily, but he wasn't aligned with Nick Delorier, who is Nick Delorier. Definitely more of a, uh, a fighter enforcer than someone who can be expected to produce, produce points. And then Cam Atkinson, who has been struggling over the last few weeks and uh, definitely looks like he's uh, dealing with the effects of missing a full season, if not just the fact that he's getting older. He's not the same player he used to be. So Frost dropped down to line four, it appears. And while Frost, I think, has been playing better, we go back to, uh, to, to that meeting he had with Tortorella in early January, how it kind of turned his season around. Since then, he's been strong, but over the last few weeks, I have noticed a dip. He hasn't scored a point in his last three games, hasn't had a goal in his last 10, 
he just isn't having the same impact that he was having in January and even early February right after the All-Star break. This could be John Tortorella trying to send a little message to Frost that you better get your game in gear. He noted when I asked him, uh, Tortorella did, when I asked uh, Tortorella about Couturier getting his ice time jumped in uh, Thursday's game after spending a few games on that forward line as 4C, he more or less said, well, we're not getting as much as we want from some of our centers. That struck me as a direct shot at Morgan Frost. So we'll see if Frost answers the bell and delivers a, a strong performance that gets him back in his coach's good graces. That's all I have from Thunder Valley or Thunder Alley. Shouldn't call it Thunder Valley. That's actually a NASCAR thing. Thunder Alley here right outside Amelie Arena. I've been Charlie O'Connor of PHLY Sports. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We all silly like the mayor.